darlings, and welcome back to my dream home, the farmhouse. We are getting into the interiors today. I'm very excited for this. What we're going to do is kind of break down each kind of half of the house. And what I mean by that is like the floor level or ground floor. We'll break up half of it. Today, we're going to be cracking on with the kitchen, dining room, and also the utility and little media room that we've got going on. And then tomorrow we'll move on and we'll do my office and the sitting room and also the toilet and the hallway. So we're going to kind of break it down a little bit. So we've got a couple weeks left with this before we move on to something completely new. Last week, what we managed to get finished was just all of the final details. We went round to the stable area, the Airbnb moment and all over the gardens and the actual farmhouse itself, including the driveway. And we just put in all of the final details on the actual exterior itself. And as I said, what we're cracking on with today is the actual kitchen and dining room area. That's probably where we're going to start first. And then we'll move on to the utility room and also the media room. Very exciting. Let's get into game and let's make a start. And so here we are, my loves. Back at my dream home. The farmhouse. Um... I really love how this is looking. This just looks very natural and very realistic to me. And I'm very much for it indeed. Very much am. Uh, I loved this area here last time. I think the driveway has just kind of set it off and made it look a lot more realistic to me. Look at my UI. A mod is broken. And do you know what? I'm actually glad for my UI to be looking like this right now because of that hideous, hideous little jumping shopping trolley. What are they doing with that? Seriously, EA. Get your shit together. That is not something we need to see in game. Thank you. How money grabbing. Awful, awful, awful behavior. That's my two cents on it. Anyway, pause, please. So this is what we're doing today. We are cracking on with this area here. So kitchen and dining area going here. This is going to be the little media room. I've actually made the utility room a little bit bigger. I just thought it was a little bit too small. So I've actually made the media room even small, even smaller. But that doesn't really matter so much because of the idea that I've got for here. But I'm excited either bloody way. I really am. So with some reference images that I've got, we'll start off with the kitchen area first. And I'll show you the actual reference image that I kind of love. I love this kind of vibe. Very much flagstone floor, beams on the ceiling, that kind of vibe. But I like the lightness of it. I really like it to be a bit more of a paleness kind of tone. So that's what we're going to go down the route of today. Now, I would love a green kitchen in real life, like an actual green sort of like frontage to a kitchen with a white, either marble or some kind of resin or concrete kind of top. That's the kind of like vibe I would like to go for for here. A few things I did change lightly. I've just pointed out the size of this. I also got rid of the window here. That just wasn't working for me either. And I've also had a little bit of a swap around of ideas of what, where I want to put the door on here. But that is it's nothing too dramatic. I just think it will really help um, out with the, the, the final outcome, to be honest with you. So I've got nothing left to say. And as I said, where we're going to be making a start today is on the kitchen and the dining area. So first things first, we're going to start off with the flooring. Now, we don't really have that amazing flagstone floor in game, nor in the custom content, really. This is probably the sort of closest that I can get to it. Um, this one here is from Harry and Felix as part of their organic collection. Uh, but I would have loved like that proper flagstone flooring, bigger like sort of stones with smaller stones and stuff. I looked around at a few CC pieces and I've tried out a few in game that I thought looked sort of similar but it was just a little bit too alpha and way too alpha for my tastes so we're not doing it we are absolutely not doing it um what we're going to go ahead and do instead is use this one here and i do want to keep it quite pale i think i think i want to maybe uh, i think that's a little bit too much of a warm tone i think it does need to be a little bit cooler like that sort of tone there yeah and i'm thinking about continuing that on into the hallway out here as well just so it sort of matches itself over. And I think I'm going to do wood in these two rooms here. But we'll concentrate on that once we get to them. Um, I'm just going to put it through there for now. Because I'm putting a door and it's open. And I think I would like to see it go out there please. Flagstone flooring. Very much a kind of English farmhouse staple to be honest with you. Beautifully wearing and it looks stunning as well. It really, really does. Yes, it does it don't. Okay. So I would love the stone from the outside to make an appearance inside as well 
I really would. So I think what I'm going to do is wrap it on this wall here in the front. And I might want to drag it all the way down. I don't know just yet. I think I'll leave it like that for the minute. But I would also love the organic, um, this one here. But this one, and it, we'd probably need to go for a bit more of a paler tone. Yes, that's the wood tone that I really want to make it like apparent throughout this whole build. Is that kind of really nice sort of lighter timber. I think it's gorgeous. And I think I want to put it all the way down here. Let's have a look. Yes, I do. And on this wall here. And on this, we're going to go all on the modern extension as well. We're going to put it all the way up there as well like that. Oh, definitely. I'm very much full. Of that. And I think we need to paint the ceilings while we're here. Or the ceiling while we're here. And I'm going to use Pierre Sims uh wooden ceiling but gonna, i'm gonna go for something very pale and flat like we have uh with the actual sort of like wood tone that we've used on the wallpaper let me see if that's gonna work let me see yes yes i'm for that okay but now we've got that in what i'm gonna do is find out where this point is from and i'm gonna come down to there so it's there let's get the grid on so we can see what we're working with here show me what's um, I don't know whether to do four beams or three. I think we should do four. I think that would fit in there fine. Then one, two, three, and then another one there. There we go. That was the ticket. That has worked. That's exactly what I would have wanted. Now let's have a little look in here and look out through the extension. Oh, yes. That's the ticket right there, darling. Okay, okay. So where am I for a start? There we are. We're going to make a start on probably like the actual kitchen itself. Now, my favorite kitchen in the game and the one that I would love in a dream house, especially a farmhouse, not necessarily all houses, is Felix's London kitchen. It's my favorite. This one here. I love that. I love it in the white. I wouldn't have a wooden top. I would go for something a little bit more hard wearing. Um, but I do want to go for the green. I do. Have a little look at you. Yeah, I think that's going to be the ticket. Oh. Now, the only problem with this is this is going to go over the window here. I tried to figure something out off of camera, like making this window smaller. It just it just doesn't happen. So we're just going to have to deal with it. And it's my dream house and I'm, I'm sticking to my guns. Thank you. I'm going to do that one there. I'm going to do a corner piece in here. I'm going to continue it on this way. And we're going to do another corner piece there. And then we're going to do a little corner end. Is that the right way? This way. There we go. There. I'm going to do the big range or arga looking oven. This one here, like a range cooker. But with, I, I definitely want to use this one. And this is from Felix. This is my favorite. And I definitely need to go for a lighter tone without the gold accents on it. I don't think it needs the gold accents because that's just not going to be the vibe for me. I don't know if I want to go white with it. I think I do. I'm going to go for that creamy tone. I think that creamy tone just fits in a little bit better there. Yes. And then what I'm going to do is put on a little end piece here, I think. Yes, because that's going to match in very well under there like that. Okay. And then I definitely want a big, big fridge. I'm not going to put the fridge in the utility room at all. I think the fridge needs to stay out in the kitchen because we are in a farmhouse, you know. So that's just the vibe that I'm going to go for. And I want Harry's big, yeah, this one. I want a big beastie to come through and call me poor, you know? <laughs> that's why, that's what I really want today. I want a fridge to call me poor. I think that's the right colour. That might change, we're going to see. But what I do need to do is figure out doors. And I know the doors that I've got in my head for this particular house. I'm just hoping it's going to work. Let me grab them. And here they are, the organic ones. I absolutely love these. I think they're gorgeous. We are definitely going to have a problem with the caster and the beams on this, but I'm just going to oversee it. It's absolutely fine. So into the utility room we go. I'm going to pop you to there. And I'd want that detail on this side in the kitchen. Um, I love both sides of this door, but I think that um, side is just a lot more gorgeous. So I'm going to flop you to there. And I'm going to do the media room maybe around there have a little look at you oh yes that's the ticket that is the ticket now to help out with the casters i could put the door this way 
But I really want that detail to be on this side into the kitchen. I don't know why, I just don't. I really think it would look lovely. But you get what I mean? Like these casters would hit this beam, but shh, it's just a game. We're going to pretend that everything is fine and we're going to move on. Yeah, I like that. I do. I do like that indeed. Now, I'm not so much a cupboard person. I'm, I've got cupboards in my own kitchen, but I think I would have the majority of storage in the utility slash larger room anyway. So I think that's what I'm going to do in here. Put some cupboards and stuff up in here instead. I'm going to stick with shelving up in here, I think. But I do like that. Okay. And moving on, what we're going to do is put an island in here as well. Now, I don't want a huge island. We're obviously going to go for the London one again. It's a London look. And I think what I'm going to do is pull you to like, maybe, let me just see this grid space there. If I can do you and you to there. And I think the end pieces are a lot smaller. They are. So if I can do you, oh, wrong side. Is it? I have no idea. Once again, watch me struggle. Nope, that's the wrong side. You need to come here like that. There we are. And this side, you need to go there like this. Scooby-Doo. That door will open easily there. Same with that gap there. I might just pull it in one more here. I'm going to pop you along to here like that. Let me see from this side. Oh, yes. That green looks gorgeous in here. I must admit, there are two particular kitchens that I really love in the YouTube sphere. And it's from two YouTubers, one of them called Madeline Olivia. She actually lives in Cornwall as well. She lives in a Georgian farmhouse, quite similar to this. I'll link down some videos down below so you can have a little look. And there's another YouTuber called Josie London, I think she's called. Um, and she's got a gorgeous house in the Cotswolds and also a lovely, beautiful kitchen that I absolutely adore. I'll link down I'll link down two videos down below so you can go and have a little nose at them if you may wish. <laughs> yes, I like that. I do. I wouldn't have any kind of curtain up on my kitchen window or blind or anything. I would keep it completely open. That's fine with that. But we definitely need some shelves. And I'm thinking those corner shelves, these ones, is that a good colour match in here with that wood tone? I think it needs to go slightly cooler if we can. I don't think... Oh, we probably could with this one. Oh, there we go. Oh, is that stone? I don't want stone. I want wood. That's a bit better. No, that's the exact same as what we had before. We're using this. I'm going to put up two shelves up here. Yes, that's a nice colour, actually. And I think what I want to do... Do I want to come out one more? Let me see this grid. Do I want to go there with the fridge and have another side bit here? I think I'd want to do that as well. Yeah, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. And realistically, if this was my house, like dream home, I would not have a bin on display. It would be in one of the cupboards. We don't have that option, sadly. So I am going to have to try and stick a bin somewhere, but I don't know where I'm going to do that just yet. Anyway, moving back on to those shelving moments. I'm not going to do corner pieces there. I think what I should do is just stick with two of these ones and stick them at that exact same height so i'm gonna go one there and one there like that yes that would be the ticket right there oh now i would love some pendulous lights but the only problem is i know a lot of the pendulum lights don't give off enough light so i am gonna hide these lights away in those beams they'll still give us that light but we won't be able to see them um what i'm gonna do I like Felix's. If I'm remembering rightly, Felix has got a lovely pendulum light that I've always loved. And it's this one here, the Paris Pendulum Light. It looks very similar to the one I've got in my office. I think having three of them on this beam, I'm going to size them down. I think having three of them going across here on this beam would look marvellous. <laughs> well, that's what I'm going to do, I think. I'm, feel I'm feeling better today. I'm over my hangover from the weekend. <laughs> I was feeling rotten yesterday doing that voiceover. So you'll have to excuse me. I have no idea what I said. But I bet it was lovely anyway. <laughs> but it was really nice. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm feeling this. I really am. And I would love some bar stools. Now the bar stools I would love would be this kind of style here. Like with the like sort of like rib cage sort of like backing. I don't know what you would call them. I don't know what they're called, um, but I love them. I really do. I'm just a bit worried about the colour tones with this. Because I do want it to be a little bit more of a flatter wood. There we are. Yes. Really nice, flat.
battle wood. And we're going to do... Are we going to do four? Or should we just do two? Let me have a little look at two. Mm, I think it needs four. I would love to do three. But with how the Sims work, like the Sims works, it's just not feasible. I mean, I could put three in here, but then the bar stores wouldn't be usable. Um, maybe I'll do that anyway. And then if you want to use them, you'll have to like move them yourself, you know? If I did all of those three. Do you see what I mean? Three just looks better than four. It looks a lot less crowded. We're doing that. Yes, we are doing. Okay, lovely. Now, I would love some kind of range hood behind here. Everything I always try, even if I size it down, it just never really fits in with this here. And I always struggle with fitting it in. I'll try it. We'll see what happens. But do you see how big it is? It needs like a medium sized wall. And we don't really have that. Maybe even a tall height. But uh, I wonder if I could like... Sh I've tried to size this down before, even with the tall mod. And it just like cuts into the actual oven itself and just looks a bit weird. So I don't really know what to do with that, to be honest with you. This is what I'm going to come up with. And we've used the shelf from Felix's Grove collection. And it looks a little bit like a mantle. And I think it suits this room kind of nicely as well. Especially when we put some like cookbooks and stuff up there, I think. Um, oh, in fact, some pans and pots and pans would look great up there. So I think that's how I'm going to do it. I might even just rise it up just a little bit. And I've also moved the oven. I moved the oven and cut it into another counter and it fits in fine it blends in fine it doesn't look too out of place it just helps the oven be a little bit more in a better position shall we say yes i think i'm for that okay that's what we're going to do and i definitely want those pots and pans up there so i'm going to get them these oh i love these and i would definitely have them right by the oven like this i very much would can i change the color of that metal pole no, it just changes the colour of everything. Never mind. Never mind, that's just extra fussy. But I think I would have gone for a bit more of a brass, uh, brassy looking pole there. But I'm kind of happy with it. I think that works. Yes, indeed. Very, very nice. We need a sink. And I'm going to go for the chateau sink as well, I think. The chateau sink as well, I think. You know? So I'm going to flop you into there. Place you there. And I would probably like one of those taps as well that go directly above the actual oven itself so it's easier to just, you know, get hot water on tap. Boiling hot water, that is. So maybe I can get this in a good position. Even if I flop it to like there and, oh, it's in amongst all my pots and pans. Even if I just pulled it in like a little bit more like around here and flopped it into place there like that. Could, like whisk all that yes you could whisk that over and put some hot water in there i do like it i like the little gold accents as well i'm not going to go with gold accents for like the oven and the fridge and stuff they have got them i don't think it needs it i think we're going to keep it as it is for the minute okay i'm happy with how that looks i really really am very happy with how that looks so we're not finished here yet i still want to do details and stuff but what i want to do is get in the dining table just to give me an idea of space in this area. So I'm going to find my perfect dining room table. And here she is. This one here from Harry's Coastal Collection. I love it. I really do. And I'm thinking about putting it in this kind of position here. Directly under this, this beam here. Because I would love to maybe have some kind of small seating area in the actual kitchen as well. You know, after you've cooked your meal and you want to sit around with friends and it's too cold outside to do so. And you don't want to go into the sitting room and you want to stay in this entertaining space. I think just having a little bit of a seating area area here would be nice too. Now, I don't know what chairs to use. I love these high-backed moments, but I also love these ones here. I'm going to go for the shorter height ones. I like these with this table. And I'm going to do, I'm going to do six chairs. Six chairs. And I'd probably want a couple more just in case we had extra guests. But I wouldn't want them on the actual table itself, I don't think. I think I want to make a little moment with them against the wall somewhere. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, that's very nice indeed. And I would love some kind of light over the top of this table as well. Not necessarily these pendant lights, but definitely something that hangs down quite nicely. We're going to go for this one here from Harry's Octave Collection. Or Octave. <laughs> I think this one here, yes. Because it kind of matches in with those lights here, but they're just it's just a little bit different over the dining table. Oh, I'm very much for that indeed. Really am. 
Lovely. So we've got an idea of space and stuff now. And I'm kind of feeling it. I really am. I do think what we probably need to move on to now is finding some seating for this area here. So I need to go in and have a little look through. I want something country classic kind of looking. I really do. And I definitely want to stick with this lighter thing that theme that we've got going in the kitchen. And I might bring a bit more green through with some pillows, but also some plants. This room would definitely have a lot of plants in. So let me find some. Now these chairs are perfect. These are from Pierre Sims' Domaine de Clos um, collection. So I'm going to put one there and I'm going to do one there like that. I think I need to just move you just a little bit more. Yes, yeah, so you can just whip open those bifold doors and have that big moment there with a nice little coffee table here and a dresser here. Now I love Felix's London dresser, so I'm going to go and grab that. And here she is. Oh yes, and it's perfect because what I can do is fit that into there and then grab those two extra chairs that I got rid of for some reason. And I'm going to flop those two extra chairs just off by the side of it here and also here as well. Obviously, we're going to be filling this off, but that all comes in in the final detailing. We're just getting everything mapped out just so first. And that also includes a rug. I do want to put a rug underneath the dining room table, I think. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, yes. I'm very much feeling this. Very much feeling this indeed. So now it comes down to, as I said, some final detailing. So I want to grab out everything that I just think the kitchen would need. I am not a fan of clutter in the kitchen, but I would love a few little pieces just up on the shelves and stuff. We need a dishwasher. We need all of, all of that kind of good stuff. And I would love some kind of big bouquet of flowers on the island or maybe the dining table. Just all of the finishing pieces. So I'm going to bring all of the finishing pieces out and we're going to pop them around together for some final detailing of the kitchen. So, starting off in the kitchen with some final little details. We're going to start over the side here. And I think this will be the perfect place to make a cup of tea. Now, I'm not much of a coffee drinker these days. I've sort of skipped on like drinking caffeine. So, I'm not going to put a coffee machine in here. And Tom doesn't like it either, so we're not going to do that. Um, I am going to put my little tea things up here, though. We're going to go for mint tea and a decaf ale grey right there, like that. The hardest thing ever to give up uh, drinking caffeine. I had a headache for about three weeks. <laughs> it's a bit, of an, a bit of an exaggeration, but it was definitely nearly two. Um, but I just, I just, I, I, it wasn't doing anything for me now, you know? It was making me anxious and I decided to get rid of it and I'm not doing it anymore. Is anybody else like that out there? Does caffeine give you anxiety? Because it does to me and I'm not for it. But I thought that would be a perfect little place. I even put a little plug socket in here for a lovely little place to make a cup of tea in. Perfect. And then I thought just to finish off in this corner, because it's near a window. I like getting all my plants near a window to get some lovely, lovely light in. I thought a lovely little plant over there as well. Yes. And then I thought about having a toaster just over in this corner here, where you can just pull it out and use it when you need it, you know, along with a little plug socket over there as well. Now, I don't mind plates and bowls and stuff being out on display. I do like that. I like the look of it. But I'm thinking more along the lines of like ingredients and stuff. It's just not my vibe. It's not my vibe in a kitchen anyway. In a pantry, yes. And that's what we're going to do today. Yes, Um, Do love a bit of bacon. So I've got these old fashioned scales. I'm going to tuck behind there like that. Beautiful. And then give ourselves some mixing bowls. I'm going to pop them up there along with a strainer and some bowls. I think I'm going to do two sets of bowls because we tend to go through a lot of them. Yeah, like that. Oh, yes, that's nice. And then over by the cooking area, I'm going to do the little salt and pepper shaker. I would love for you to go on there without cutting in. There we go. That'd be great. I also tried out some books and stuff up there and I just didn't like the way it looked. So we're just going to pretend that books are stored away in the cupboard somewhere instead. Lovely. And I also tried out some flowers and up on the island. But it was just a bit too much because we're putting flowers on top here. Now, where are those flowers? There they are. A lily. I love a lily. I love the smell of them. I think they're gorgeous. And that's what we're doing. And I would love a couple of candles out on the table as well. So I'm going to do like one there and also one on the other side of the table itself like that. And then using the chateau plates i'm gonna flop one on either side now i know these are double stacked 
So I might not be able to do this. I didn't try this. This came in late. Maybe if I just did one there, one there, just for a bit of set dressing, you know? And then we can dish them out. Oh, oh, I'm absolutely for that. Yes. And then over to this side, we're going to go for these wall lights. I love these lamps. I really, really do. I've got no kind of wall lights in my house. And I really wish that I did. I tend to... We tended to go for more lamp-based, kind of floor lamps, table lamp sort of moments. Um, but I would love something like this. I actually saw some similar ones to this from the uh, the site where I got my lights from. And that's Pookie. Pookie Lighting, if you were wondering. They do some gorgeous, gorgeous lights. And I fell in love with them, so I'm going to put them in this house instead, in my dream home. So, over here, and I'm not really a fan of how big this coffee table is with these chairs, but I'm going to go for it anyway. I am going to push that back a bit like that, and then just whiffle that back just slightly, and then put that a bit more into the middle like that, like that. Like that and like that, you know? And then I didn't have a light, a table lamp. There we go. This wonderful table lamp, complete with a plug socket down there, I thought would look nice in this corner. In case you didn't want all of these big lights on, you could have this while you're winding down with friends, having a little sip of wine or something. Beautiful job. And this plant here, I did put over it in this kind of position. So I'm gonna have to move this just slightly and I'm gonna raise you up a little bit as well. Get you up a little bit higher and then just bring this in a little touch more over to that side. Yes, that's the vibe for me. That is indeed the vibe for me. And to finish off the dining room table, I'm going for this um, wonderful rug that I did warn you I will be using to death. And if you can see it, it's got, almost got like a green sort of stitch in it, a slight green stitch. And I just think it blends in with the kitchen area kind of nicely too. Gorgeous. And then over to this side, I'm going to do this light, this light. We're going to do this picture. I'm going to pop you to around about there. I need to make sure that this caster's not going to like hit it, you know? And I also pulled out two lights for here as well, so put them up to around about that height there and the same with this one here as well uh, you're, no you need to come down a little bit my love i think that's perfect ish no nope, you do need to come down but you gotta remember with these um farmhouses the walls would have been wonky anyway you know and i'm gonna stack this up with some of my best plates you know if you have all if you have a nice dinner party you're gonna get your best plates out aren't you so that's what i'm gonna do here I'm going to flop you to there, you into the middle there, little milk jug into the middle there like that, beautiful. Then we're going to do some more plates either side, uh, can we get a good position? There we go, is that cutting into that? Not really, it's fine. And then we'll go up with some jugs and stuff up onto this level here. You can come into there. Oh, we did have an extra set of plates here, I don't know why that is. Maybe if I just stack them. Nope, that looks weird, we'll do that. Oh, yes. Oh, very much for that indeed. Did you see what I mean? It just pulls it together. I think what I also want to do is put a light switch over this area here as well. Just in case you come in through this way and you want to turn the lights on from this side of the room. I think it would make sense to have them around here. Or have at least one around here. Yes. Oh, I'm feeling that, loves. I really am. Let's have a little look, Ski. Let's have a little look from this end. Very much feeling that. That is my dream kitchen. But there is something else that we need to do to finish off my dream kitchen. And that is to do the utility room. Now with the utility room, this is where things are going to change a little bit. And remember I said things can change organically depending on what we're building inside compared to what I need. Now, I would love this to be some kind of boot room as well. So after we've taken Daisy out or something, maybe somewhere where we can wash her off. But there's no kind of like entrance to this. So I'm thinking about putting a door here, which means that we're going to have to do a little bit of building to be able to put a door here. Um, and I just think that'd be a nice area for us to come in, take like wash Daisy off and then she's got the free roam of the house then without dragging mud through the actual house itself. So with that being said, we need to get into a little bit of building.
there we go. I think that looks really nice. I changed the color of the door to green as well because I just thought it suited the actual house a little bit better than the kind of like bright sort of white tone. Um, and I think that's nice. Lovely little entrance where we can come inside and, you know, wash down day's face. That's what we're going to do. So what I'm going to choose first is the flooring. And weirdly, I think I, I was going to go for wood, but I think I'm going to stick with the flagstone. I was going to say weirdly we're going to go for wood, but it just doesn't make sense to me having a boot room slash utility area where it would get muddier than the rest of the house and it being wood. It just doesn't sit right with me. But I'm not going to do stone in here. I'm going to use this um, timber wall and we're going to use this all the way around as well. Uh, and now I need to hunt out everything that I want to put in this room. I will flop up a reference image of a utility room that I really loved. Just love the sort of like neutral sort of vibes of it. Um, and I think we're going to go down something similar to that, depending on where we can actually fit everything. So let's see what we come up with. Okay, so what I originally had planned for this doesn't really work, but we've made something else work and that's all that matters. So we're going to be doing this. Now, I found these marvellous, marvellous under the counter um, washing machine and tumble dryers. And they are from a creator called Tanika. I'll show you how they work. So you just literally put them up to a kitchen counter and they go underneath and they work as well, which is amazing. I'm very much looking forward to using these. So I'm going for a different kitchen in here or a different kitchen sort of counter just because I think it looks nice. I like the wood tone with the tiles that I've also changed out on the wall in here as well. I just think we need a little bit more of a tile. I was planning on putting a little doggy bath in here like from Sixum, which is this one here as part of their small spaces laundry room uh, sort of vibe. But it just doesn't fit in with the aesthetic that I've got going in here. And I tried a few of the swatches. The black was probably my favorite one, to be honest with you. But I just didn't really like how it looked in here. And also it doesn't fit properly. It doesn't fit. It's a full size bath and it just doesn't fit in this room. And I didn't want to maneuver everything around. So I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Instead, what we're going to do is put in a nice big sink. And I'm going to use Harry's coastal sink. This one here, the farmhouse sink. And we can easily wash up Daisy in that. She'll be absolutely fine there. And then what I'm going to do is pull these cupboards all the way along to here. Nice, white, fresh cupboards. And I decided to go for with tiles just so we can keep this room as clean as possible, you know. And then a little drying rack here for some clothes and stuff to be hung up. And I did pull out some towels here as well that I'm probably just going to put either side like that. Let me put you in like that and whiffle you a little bit tighter. There we go. Either side. Gorgeous, gorgeous things. I'm not having anything out on the sides. It would just not be me. We're going to do, uh, Daisy, a little dog bowl and water bowl here. I'm going to plop you into there like that. And then off to the side of it. I think we should put the hoover away from Daisy because she is not a fan of the hoover in the slightest. Like most dogs, probably. Um, but yeah, she is not a fan of the hoover in the slightest. So I'm going to maneuver that over there. Put a little broom off to the side here. It's a very simple room, but I think it's going to work. And also a little laundry basket in this room as well. Now, I did have a dustpan and brush. There you are. I thought I could put that up just by the side of it as well. So all of the spaces where all I would keep all of my like cleaning products and stuff up and up in here, laundry stuff. That's the room that this is going to be. And just to finish it off, I think what we should do is put a little rug just off to the door area here. And I think that should suffice in this room, to be honest with you. In fact, you know what? I'm going to put one on the outside as well. I'm going to put one just there. I think that one will work out there quite nicely. Yes. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Nice utility room. Just very simple. And that's all I think I would need in there. I'm not even going to change the light. I think the light is absolutely fine. A spotlight in there would be perfect. So that's it. Our utility room is complete. So we're going to move on to the final bit today. And that is going to be our little media room. So with the media room, I definitely want to go for this wall. We're going to keep that wall in there, but I want to put some wood in here and I really want to use, which I'm going to be using in the living area as well, is Harry's clean um, wood flooring. Now, there was a color that I fell in love with that I just think would blend in really well to the aesthetic we've got going around this house. I just need to find it. 
And it's this one here. I think that's lovely. What way do I want to do it? It doesn't really matter. I think I'm going to do it this way because I want like an L-shaped sort of like snug sofa in here with a projector. I found a projector as well. I'll show you that in a minute. So I'm going to, I haven't picked out the sofa yet. I know I want it to be squishy and comfy and I'd probably want it to be neutral as well. So I think we're going to go for Pierre Sims David's apartment sofa. I just like the texture on this. I think it's really, really nice. And I love that neutral colour as well. I'm going to flop you all the way around to there. And I probably just want to finish it off with like a longer bit over onto this side. Let me have a little look at that. Yes. And then we've got options here to be able to fit stuff down by the side here. I tried a few of the other sectional sofas and they were all a little bit too big. It didn't leave us a gap here. I just think having something down here to rest your drinks and something on would be really nice. Rather than filling up this smaller space with a coffee table, it's not going to work. But I think that there would work really nicely. <gasps> yes, I do enjoy that. Okay, right. In fact, what I'm going to do is find something that's going to go down here to act as somewhere where we can put some bits and bobs. And I'm thinking probably a shelf would be the best way. Oh, yes. This one here from Pierre Sims Mid-Century Modern. I think would fit in there perfectly. It's almost making me want to drag this over a little bit more this way, like that. With that being said, can we squeeze another shelf in on this side? I don't think we're about to put this size one up again. But what about if we just tried a smaller one just up on that area there? And I could even just move it down just a smidgen. Just so it fits in the sofa kind of perfectly. Because I do need to use this at the back here as well, where I'm going to be putting the projector. I'm just worried that's a little bit low and it's going to bang on people's heads and it's the window that's the problem. So with that being said, it's my dream house. I'm moving the window. I'm doing it. I'm going to move the window over to this side instead and I think it will fit there absolutely fine anyway. Let me have a little look, Ski. Oh, oh yes. And then we can bring this up and then we can put the projector on there. <gasps> now, Let's start off with this. What a lovely little find this was. This is from a creator called Simmatically, and it comes with a protector screen, which is absolutely glorious. I absolutely think that's going to be fantastic. <laughs> I am an advocate now for a projector because I got one for Christmas and it's amazing. And here it is, the little projector that you can put up and it's got like a little light that shines out of it as well, which is just absolutely bloody adorable as far as I'm concerned. Look how cute that is. That is so cute. I love it. Oh, I do like that. Yes. That's a lovely little room. It really is. Now, I do need something up on the wall, like, curtain-wise here, because we are in a media room. You would want to be able to darken this down, you know. But the only problem is, curtains, it's not going to fit here because of this here. So, And the blinds, I've not really got any blinds. Like, even my... CC ones just don't really go with a lot of rooms, I always find. I wonder if I could maybe use these and just size them down. Let me see this. Yes. That's ex oh, that's perfect. I was really worried about the curtains for a minute, but I think we're going to be fine there. I'm going to drag you up a little bit higher like that. Oh, I do enjoy this. Yes. And I would probably want some kind of storage to keep stuff. Now, I love a DVD. I don't have many anymore. I'm quite sad that I got rid of them, like, when streaming and stuff started to come out. But I would still some, I would still want something in here that you could store DVDs or even a games console, that kind of, like, stuff. Do you know what I mean? I like that, but I still think we need to go a little bit more classic. I love this. I think this will probably be the winner, to be honest with you. Even though the wood tone's just a little bit too woody for this room for me yeah i'm gonna go for this one i'm gonna flop you into there right into the wall let's drag you up a little bit more and then we can hold in stuff like store stuff in there you know very much vibing with that and i think some kind of circular rug now i was thinking of the stefan round rug yes like this just for a bit of comfort oh i'm very much vibing with that Fiesta resistance. And I think to finish it off, I want some low level lighting in this room. Some mood lighting, you could say. I am going to put a lamp up on somewhere. I think I'm going to do a lamp over here. But I definitely want just a couple of low level lights down here. So I'm going to go for my favourite, and it's the spa day ones. 
we're gonna go for some in-game stuff here loves shocking i know but i think just having those down there oh yes yes indeed and i'm hoping uh, i was just about to say i'm hoping to use this lamp but i think it's a little bit too large drop here it is i could size it down but then it's still a little bit too large i mean i could try and maneuver it so it's not oh i do like that in here though it looks marvelous I am going to use it. I'm going to use it, but we're going to get rid of you first. Except excuse you. We're going to plop this back and I'm going to put it right up. It doesn't fit into the wall there. And then maneuver this back and flop you just underneath a bit like that. Let's go right into the wall, Aiden, please. Like that. Oh, yes. That's the tickety boo right there, my loves. It really is. Very nice indeed. Yes. And then I think just having some a final little bits up on here, to be honest with you. And I've gone for a phone and a little set of keys and some books as well. Because I would imagine this would be a nice place to come and get away from everything and have a little read as well, if you wanted to. In a bit of a darker room and watch a nice program on the TV. <gasps> oh, that's cute. That is very cute. And I like how we've used this because I, want, I didn't want a TV in this room. So I wanted it completely separate. Um, and that'd be a nice place to sit with, like, your friends and family and whatnot and have a little movie and stuff, wouldn't it? Yes! I also pulled out some cushions for this as well because I forgot to do that. But we're done for today. We are done with this half of the interior. And as I said, I'll be back tomorrow with the living room area, the office, and also the main entrance and toilet down on this level as well. But I'm very, very pleased with how this came out, especially the kitchen. I'm absolutely in love with the kitchen. I really, really am. Um, kind of thriving and vibing with it to be honest but that's it this part is done thank you so much for watching my darlings leave me some lovely comments down below and i will be back tomorrow with a bit more furnishing with my dream home the farmhouse goodbye <laughs>